Hey YouTube, this is Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here for LinuxMusicStudio.com. And today I wanted to share with you this really cool uh, little piece of software that I found here called CAVA or CAVA. And this is something that you can download from GitHub and build it yourself on your Linux computer. And the reason why I wanted something like this is just because I wanted some type of uh, way to visualize music uh, from within the console rather than having some crazy looking like jack plugin that I had to put in on the screen and do all kinds of setup. I just wanted something simple, uh, mainly for my uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Macintosh SE30 that I've shown in some other videos that I use as my stereo system here and I wanted a way to visualize the music uh, other than you know using what you're seeing here in mic mod which is pretty cool too but this um, I don't know, I just thought it was really neat and I thought I would share it with you guys. You can cycle through colors here. I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit. Um, but, you know, for some of you that are new to compiling software, uh, this is a great thing to start with because I feel like the instructions are very clear and the uh, all the software that's required to get this to work is also very easily uh, found and the, it's just really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over to the website right now and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are. And all you need to do is go to github.com slash carlstav slash kava or kava or however you say that. It's actually an acronym for console-based audio visualizer for ALSA. And so it, this is actually a great thing to build if you've never built some software because uh, I ran it once uh, on my Raspberry Pi and it built very easily. And I'm pretty sure it'll go just as easily on my Ubuntu uh, installation here as well. So all we're gonna do is just follow the instructions right here. And it's very easy. I'm just gonna scroll down to the build, build requirements. So we have to make sure we have all of this stuff and it actually makes it very simple for you right here. And all you have to do is just make sure you install all of these. And we should be able to do that, even though it says Debian Raspbian. I'm assuming that's going to work on Ubuntu as well. Maybe. We'll see. So let's go ahead and try that. We're just going to copy that line there. Let me open up a new tab. Well, I can close my Minecraft server. I'm done there. And well, let's go ahead and open up a new tab while that's shutting down. All right, so let's go here and we'll just paste that. And well, we need to do sudo, so let's type sudo in there. All right, so then it just says that it's going to install some software. We just tap yes. Now, anytime you're building something from source, uh, you are going to need to make sure that the requirements are met. Well, let's watch that and make sure everything goes as planned, and it did. So, but this one, you know, not all of them make it this easy for you, but that's why I wanted to show you guys this one because this is a great one to do because it does kind of walk you through uh, very easily how to do this. And I could read through all that, but I'm not gonna because uh, you really don't need to. There's a couple of more things here that you need and those are auto make lib to tool and git i already have git on mine uh but i'm gonna i don't know i should have auto make a lib tool but let me just make sure so let's go ahead and try that and yeah i already had both of those as i thought and so here's all we have to do. First, we're going to go, and if you watched my uh, Muse uh, building from source video, then you probably saw this once already. And if you're familiar with GitHub, uh, this is what you do. You just go to clone or download here, and let's get the link. Copy that. Go back to the terminal. We're going to do git, clone, or just git clone. And then paste that link in there. All right, then we're going to change to that directory, cd cava. All right, and there's all the files we just downloaded. 
now let's go back down to the instructions and then we're just going to type in these few we're going to run this script here the autogen script and then we're going to run configure And then we're going to run make. Now there's one thing that they left out here. Um, if you're on Ubuntu or Debian, you're going to have to do sudo make install after that. I'll just slide that over so you can see. All right, now let's open up Kava. And there it is. So it's not going to react to my mic because I'm going through Jack right now. But once I get Pulse Audio hooked back up, you're going to see that moving around just like it was in the beginning of the video. So, yeah, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe and the bell symbol and all that stuff that everybody always asks. And if you get a chance, check out my Patreon page, which is just patreon.com slash Linux Music Studio, and if you contribute any amount, you'll, have, you'll be granted access to my exclusive Discord server. And once again, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great, great weekend, or week, or whatever it is when you're watching this. See you next time.